Whiskers, is that where you go? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, now where you go? Hi guys, it's Crystal and today we are going to do my vacation nails. I went on vacation last week. This video is actually going to go up after my vacation, but that's okay. To start this look off, I went in with my Glistening Glow Base Coat. I use this because I actually wore this design for the entire week. I wore this on my non-dominant hand, my left hand, and then my right hand I would change the color like every night. The polishes I wore on my right hand I used a peel off base coat for and I just switched them up because it was fun. For my base color, I'm using Garnet from Damn Nail Polish. This is one of my all-time favorite pinks. It goes on very smooth and opaque in two coats, and I love it. That's why I chose it for the base for this. I wanted to have mermaid nails on one hand just because for some reason that's what I picked. I really, I, I have no like special meaning or reasoning or anything for this design. I just really wanted mermaid nails. We went to the beach and I felt like having mermaid nails, but I didn't want the traditional blue, green mermaid nails. I wanted something, you know, a little wacky, a little more me. To protect my cuticles for this look, I used my Simply Peel from Bliss Kiss. I know my voice sounds a little terrible. I'm still a little coarse. Okay, after you spend a lot of time by the ocean and you've been giggling and laughing and shouting all week, you're just gone. You're done. But we had an awesome vacation, so I have no regrets. Just a terrible voice. <laughs> For the stamping plate, I used the TwiStar Collaboration Plate from Bundle Monster. This has a really extra large, gorgeous image for this. And I use my extra large clear stamper from Twinkle Tea, as well as my Vibin Stampin' Polish from Twinkle Tea. You can save 10% off all Twinkle Tea products with my code SERIOUSLY, as well, you know, it's linked in the description box, as always. This image you can see is what I'm talking about that is extra large and big. This stamping plate actually has a lot of images that are great for longer nails. And I had this same design on another plate, but it wasn't long enough for my nails at this time. To color in my spots I'm coloring in, I'm using Amethyst from Damn Nail Polish. This is this really gorgeous, perfect purple. And I'm just sticking it down on a white flash card. And then using my crystal dotting tools from Twinkle Tea to pick it up and color in the spots. I thought about doing blue and purple and pink but I tested that on a swatch stick and I didn't really like how the blue went with them. And then I tried two different shades of pink and two different shades of purple and I didn't like how that looked. And then I tried pink and two different shades of purple and I didn't like how that looked. And then I tried two different shades of pink and then the purple and I didn't like it. I ended up really liking just the two-toned mermaid nails color. And it made for a quick, easy, nice design the, because I did these the day we left. So it it was really easy quick I did my whole hand and I'd say 45 minutes even with filming it it was a lot quicker than most of my other designs because as you can see here there's not as much to color in as like a really crazy full detailed design and I wanted something simple I really I don't know I just want to have this cute fun design and then on my right hand I wore different pinks and purples and blues all week and then on my toes I had another pink color and I just switched it all up. Actually on my toes I wore one of my favorite pinks from Painted Polish and it's probably going to stay on there for months until it comes off on its own because you know, you get a mani and it chips in a minute, you get a pedicure and that thing lasts forever. It's evil. Once I color in all my little scales, which I did randomly, I had no pattern to this, I flip it over and check it to make sure it's completely filled in, it's opaque, it's nice. And then I'm taking my Marvel Liquid Macro Top Coat and I'm putting this on a makeup sponge. This is my usual method for reverse stamping. It's my go-to and it's been the best thing ever for me. And then I'm just going to dab this on the top of the nail. I don't do a really thick layer, just enough to be nice and smooth. Unfortunately, I did too thick a layer 
And when I went in to stamp on this one, it was still wet and I smeared it. So I ended up stripping this nail and completely redoing it because that was too far gone to save. But when I redid it, it was pretty. So I went in with my stainless steel cuticle pusher after I fixed that and I cut off all the edges. I didn't film like pulling it off and fixing it or anything. I actually have a video I'm working on with how to fix all these kinds of things and a whole bunch of stamping tips and tricks. It's just taking longer than my other videos so I'm not able to film it like all in one day and I've been filming it in pieces. Once that's done, I peeled off my Simply Peel and then I got my number two cleanup brush from Twinkle Tea and did my cleanup on the edges off camera because it was just too messy to do on camera. I then went back in with my Marvel Liquid Macro Top Coat and I top coated this and made it all beautiful and then it was done and I had super easy, super gorgeous mermaid nails for vacation. If you follow me on Instagram, you got to see all my fun vacation stuff. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you did not get to see any of that because I really only posted there. <laughs> but I will probably throw out more pictures at some point either on my Facebook page or on Instagram. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm really sorry for my terrible voice. It will be better in my next videos, I pinky promise. I have a lot of awesome stuff coming up because I came home to a lot of PR packages. As always though, if you like this, give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more fun stuff and tutorials and everything else. And I will see you guys next time.